Bang! Neves Knives. I'm Jared, and we have a few knives we're going to just take a quick look at. This one we will bring back up here in just a second, because first we're going to check out this dagger knife. Now, this is a Russian company. They sent me the knife. A uh, really cool sticker. And then I don't know what this is yet. We'll open it here in just a second and figure it out. Let's open up this box. We got a magnetic box. And then when I open it up, you can see their information right there. So if you want to check them out, like I said, they are based out of Russia. And then you can see this is not a small knife. This is a, quite a large knife. We're going to measure the blade here in just a second. And I will link them down in the description as well. We have a G10 scale over a steel frame lock. And then under the G10 is a steel liner and steel backspacer. However, even though it's such, such a large knife, the weight is, I mean, it doesn't bother me at all. Um, it doesn't feel too heavy. I mean, it's obviously a steel frame lock knife, but let's check out the flipping action. Flipper tab, well jimped, very comfortable flipper tab. Ooh, nice detent. The detent is very nice. Nice break in the detent. Hit my camera. It's a big knife. Yeah, it's, uh, let me try to fail it. Okay, I probably could fail it, but I'd have to really try. Yeah, it's hard though. It's snappy. The detent is very well tuned, very easy to deploy. You would only fail it if you try extra hard. So the detent is really nice on this. Very long drop point blade, almost a harpoon. We have a four and basically four and seven eighths, almost a five inch blade here. Wow. Very long blade. Almost a harpoon with this little scoop right there. That jimping provides a lot of traction. This is very nice jimping. This is the type of jimping that knives should have. If you're going to use jimping, this is the kind you should have. A lot of traction. Stonewashed blade. Really nice stone washing. D2 steel. And you can see the little skull right there. And then also a skull clip. A screaming st skull clip. Ah! Um, reversible. Uh, access to the lock bar. Good access. I have a lot of room in there. Now the detent is a little bit late. But I can get past it very easily. And the drop is false shut action. I mean the blade is heavy. So... Of course, it, you know, as long as it's on bearings, a blade this heavy should, you know, be pretty much fall shut. Now, I can. Yes, I can. I can reverse flick it off of the stone wash pretty easily. The It is slim. So, the Ergos, you know, it's not a hard-use knife. So, it's not, even though it does have a lock, and we'll talk about that here in a second, but the ergos are fairly comfortable. The choil is not a, a finger choil. It's a sharpening choil. So I can put my nub, you know, just the tip of my finger up there, but I can't get my whole finger. So it's mostly going to be just for sharpening. Now, the clip, very cool looking clip. I actually like it. I've seen some of these. I actually had another one in. So this is this only the second dagger knife I've ever checked out. I had one other one on the channel before. And I believe the screws were red for the eyes on that. Or maybe they were blue. Either way, I think they were colored. That would have been cool on this one. I have some blue or red screws right there for the eyes. Centering is perfect. Now, this lock... This lock is supposed to stop you from disengaging the knife, which it's, it does. Um, let's check the lock up before and after really quick. So there is the lock up. Now let's engage it and let's see how I can almost unlock it, but it does stop it and I'm not getting much blade rock. So it works. You can see if I, well, if I go this way, if I go in here, you can see how it moves into place right there and stops the lock bar from disengaging. 
Very, very cool. Let's check this little thing out and then we're gonna open up a couple more of these knives. I don't know what this is. I'm guessing it's strapping compound. No, it's a piece of chocolate. Ha! <laughs> Some Russian chocolate. Thank you. Very cool. I'm guessing this comes with everyone. Oh, it had something on the front of it. I didn't even show you guys. It came out broke, so. Anyways. Cool sticker. I'm going to link them down in the description if you do want to get these. I think of this as a self-defense knife. It's not a hard-use knife. Overkill for an EDC. So, I think of this as like a self-defense slash EDC knife. It's definitely very pokey. You can get by, you know, doing regular EDC stuff, but the blade is a bit long. Now, let's check out the Monterey Bay Nice Pincher. So, this is actually in for sharpening, <clears throat> which I'm actually pretty excited about. I actually have the, the slayback on the way from lefty EDC. I'm going to check out the ZDP 189. Uh, you know, I'm going to sharpen this one too. So, we'll see how this stuff does supposed to be heat treated like at uh 67 hrc or something like that so if you know zdp 189 now before this thing came out you know we've known rockstead as using zdp 189 around 70 hrc now you guys might have seen the giveaway video coming up of the rockstead shoe the button lock rockstead that also has ZDP 189 heat treated around 70 HRC. We're also giving away a Cheryl Goroff F3NS. Awesome, awesome knife with the purple fat carbon. And we're giving away a full titanium Hinder XM18 Bowie the triway pivot so hopefully you guys already have information on that if not look for the video with the three black pouches in the thumbnail and check that out now just so you guys know if you guys followed any of the channels for the giveaway you might not be following the channel still if you did not watch any of the videos you have to make sure you watch a video when you follow the channel otherwise youtube will think you are a bot and they will unfollow you. So just so you know that. Um, back to the pincher. So this is ZDP 189. He treated right around or a little under 70 HRC, which is incredibly, incredibly hard. Um, I will see how it, how it does sharpening. The knife itself, holy cow, is this an awesome knife. I can see why everybody loves this knife and probably the slayback as well. They're probably very similar. The flipping action and detent is so well tuned it is incredible 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 detent the flipper tab is very comfortable nice placement for your thumb strong detent but not so strong to where it's irritating it's just got that nice crisp break to it and the lock bar access even though they don't give you a cutout on the side they give you a little cutout right there very easy to disengage and it is 100 fall shut action very, very smooth. You can tell this is on bearings, ceramic bearings. Now, then we have this, I think it's the White Storm Fat Carbon. Man, that stuff plays with the light really good. It looks really nice. And that inlay is very well done. I do feel it, but, it, you know, to me, that, that little seam doesn't matter whatsoever. We have like a bead blasted or um, an aluminum blasted titanium frame lock I, I just meant the stuff they use to blast it i'm not sure what they use to blast it but it has a blasted finish um titanium milled pocket clip and very well built the t8 hardware all the way around except for the steel lock bar inserts now this is a sand my blade you can see the line right there so it's a jacketed ZDP 189. So the ZDP 189 is going to be the core and the edge. The rest of the outside layer from this line up is going to be some sort of stainless. I'm not sure the stainless they're using, probably like a 440C or something like that. I'm not positive. I just know of the 
the ZDP. Beautiful blade shape. This is a fantastic blade shape. It's a, a straight clip point. So these are the type of clip points I do like because it's a straight clip point for one. The tip goes all the way down very nicely. So you're going to be able to use it very similar to like a drop point blade. Now we have one more knife that's in for sharpening from the same person. By the way, shout out to Ken. Ken, thank you for uh, using my sharpening service. I do appreciate it. Now, next one is the Mallory Forest. Finally get my hands on this guy. Everybody's been raving about it. I do like a lot of Mallory's designs. He does have some uh, very EDC friendly designs. The, the, the designs, the blade shapes and everything are very nice for everyday carry and you know working uses now this is a sort of a sheep's foot blade shape which i love sheep's foot blade shape so this is going to be a very very useful blade shape for edc as well great for utility cuts you have a little bit of belly for you know whatever you need to use you know a little bit of you know rounded blade shape for or belly then you can get them nice and tight to the blade for you know regular push cuts, breaking down cardboard, things like that. Nice thin grind. It does get down to a very nice keen edge. So this is going to be a great cutter. The geometry feels amazing. Now we have S35VM. Now that we have shredded carbon fiber as the scales and I believe steel liners, titanium backspacer and titanium milled pocket clip. The access to the liner, they do give you a little bit of access. So it does work out great. Detent is very snappy, not fall shut action, but it is very, very smooth with a little bit of effort or a little bit of um, you encouraging the blade. It does drop down smoothly. I can easily just drop it down, but by itself, you know, it's not going to fall, but you give it a little bit of influence. It'll drop down very smooth though. And the access to the, the deployment hole, very snappy. Lots of room. It, uh, you, it provides you with a lot of leverage because, one, you have a lot of, you know, it doesn't matter if you want to go up top or in the middle or down below. So you have whatever leverage point you prefer you can get, which makes it very easy to deploy, whether you're right or left-handed. The thumb flick, however... It works. It works just fine. I don't want to make it seem like it doesn't, but the reverse flick does work a little bit easier. But you can easily thumb flick it or slow roll it. Awesome knife. Now, I'm not a huge fan of the shred carbon fiber. I do like it sometimes. I do like it on some things. But with this, I personally don't like it. I, I would way prefer this to be uh, on my Carta or maybe a cross-cut carbon fiber. That would have been amazing. But the shred carbon fiber, I don't know. I just, I don't like it on this. I think it makes it look ugly. Now, if you like it, then this is, that's amazing because this is a fantastic knife. I even like the the, the Dylan Mallory uh, pivot right there, the Mallory Designs pivot. I really like this knife like a lot, like a lot, like a lot. I love the choil area. So you get up nice tight to the blade. It'll also help you to benefit for sharpening. Um, very solid knife, man. I just, I'm just not a big fan of these scales. So that, you know, that's just an aesthetic thing. It's not stopping or compromising anything for the knife. But this one with the, the fat cart or the Fat Storm Carbon Fiber, whatever the heck the name of this stuff is. This looks really good. A lot of people don't like it when you only do one side, but I don't I don't really care. I think they both are good-looking knives. Now, both of these are Ken's knives, so figured I'd just take a quick look at them. They are in for sharpening, so I'm not testing them or anything like that, but I figured I'd show them really quick. Now, Happy New Year's, everybody. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.